Well, you may not know about just an absolutely gorgeous spot in the eastern Sierra. It's called Apple Hill Ranch, and you can get there. Eh, it's about three miles south of Bishop Country Club. Uh, not only does it yield great fruit, but it's open to the public and just has some wonderful spots. Sierra Way Media's Bill Lefevre toured the oasis and talked with Rick DeVore of Apple Hill Ranch. Well, Rick, we're here at your Apple Hill Ranch. Uh, Pick your own fruit. Tell us a little bit about what fruits are ready to pick right now and what you've got coming uh, almost uh, ready to pick. Right, as you can see right behind me, the apricots are really coming on strong and, and uh, they're gonna be really ripe in another few days. And we have cherries, excellent cherries right now that are ready for picking. And what else have you got that uh, maybe a few weeks down the road will be ready for picking? The raspberries and blackberries are coming on strong right now, and within a week or two we'll have raspberries and blackberries. And tell our viewers a little bit more about Apple Hill Ranch. How many acres and uh, what the, some of the amenities here are? We have 10 acres here, and we're USDA certified organic. Um, gosh, we've had all kinds of fruits and veggies. We've got figs and apples, pears, and Asian pears. We have five big gardens uh, with every type of veggie you can think of. And we're open to the public every day except for Monday. We open at 7, we close at 6 in the evening. And uh, bring your family and come on out. And we've been looking at some of the streams and the ponds. I saw one pond with koi fish in it. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the ponds and the streams that you have here on the grounds. Well, we have three pretty good sized ponds and uh, the pond that you're talking about with the koi has the gazebo and it's a place where people are welcome to come and sit, enjoy and have their lunch or, or just cool down from a hot day. This is what we're looking for and uh, that's a pretty good looking apricot. The raspberries are coming on. Uh, it's gonna be another week or so. And also the boysenberries are coming on. This is our first peach that we get this year. And we have 10 varieties of peaches here in the orchard. This is our early peach. And we'll have peaches until about Thanksgiving time. And when will these peaches be ready for pick your own? About two weeks. Tell us about these uh, Bing cherries we're looking at here, Rick. They're ready for picking right now. Uh, come on out. They're perfect right now. And these, like everything else here, are, are totally organic. No pesticides at all used. That's correct. USDA certified organic. And there was another variety that you were talking about. Let's take a look at those. All right. So what are we looking at here, Rick? We're looking at the uh, Renair cherries. They'll be ready in about three days. Excellent. And what makes these different from a Bing cherry? Uh, they're a sweeter cherry. <laughs> All right. Here's the cool one, so whatever they're called. Yeah. So Rick, tell us about this netting that you have over the cherry grove here. We uh, put the netting system up two years ago, and really this is the first good year that we've had cherries with the net. And the net is keeping the birds completely out of the cherries, so we'll have cherries much longer into the season without having all the bird pecks and bird manure all over the bird, I mean all over the, the cherries. Uh, it makes the cherry season last quite a bit longer and they'll be there for the customers. This is our Dijon pear and they'll be ready about September and uh, they're a beautiful pear with a nice red blush to them. So Rick, tell us what we're looking at here. We're looking at our Walla Walla sweets and our candies, and they're really, really a fine, fine onion. Uh, very sweet, very, um, very mild. People just love them. And you had mentioned that uh, these are award-winning. Uh, we, when we take them to the fair, they do a good job as far as awards. So tell us about the eggs we're looking at here, Rick. Well, we get $4 a dozen. They're organic eggs. And the kids love to uh, come over here, pick up the, the box and gather the eggs themselves. And the parents just think that's really neat because the kids really think these are better eggs, you know? <laughs>
Okay, Rick, we're looking here at some raspberries. Now, you mentioned you have a number of varieties. Tell our viewers about that. Uh, this is our blackberries, and we have eight varieties of blackberries, They're all thornless. They uh, start from early spring to late fall, and they are the latest varieties. Very, very good. Really good. Uh, you had mentioned almonds, Rick. I'm looking here at some almonds. What other kinds of nut trees do you have? We have walnuts and pecans, and uh, of course they're all organic, and these are great almonds. Super. They're kind of fun to pick up and shell yourself. And when will these be ready? In about another month. Well, we're in your uh, greenhouse now, Rick. Tell us about this operation. We um, save our seeds from last year and the year before. We use nothing but organic seeds, and we start our, all our plants right here in the greenhouse. And we usually start in about March and uh, try to have everything ready for planting about May. And you had mentioned that uh, not only plants, but also trees. You're trees, we, yes, we, we do the trees, and also we do the grafting here. And how do you find Apple Hill Ranch from Bishop? Well, actually, as you're going down 395 out of Bishop by the golf course, for about three miles, you'll hit a road called Gherkin. You make a right-hand turn on Gherkin, come up the road about three miles, and the first road that you come to, uh, or the first housing you come to, there'll be a, a road on the right-hand side called Sierra Grande. Make a right on Sierra Grande, come up the hill, it turns into a dirt road, and um, just come on up, come through the iron gates, and, and come through the orchard, and we'll meet you at the house. Well, we thank Rick DeVore and Bill Lefebvre for that, and we know a lot of people now can hardly wait to get out there to Apple Hill Ranch. You know, Mule Days at the Tri-County Fairgrounds and the Annual Council for the Arts, uh, Arts and Crafts Show, huge event at the Bishop City Park, a lot of fun for a lot of folks over the weekend. Catherine Hurdle, Sierra Wave Media, takes us on a tour.
Well, it was a great weekend for folks who enjoy Mule Days and shopping, and we thank Catherine Hurdle for that piece. We'll be back with more news.